My name is Miguel Rojas Sotelo. I work for the Center for Latin American and Caribbean Studies at Duke University. I'm a film scholar, curator, uh, uh, cultural critic, uh, and the director of the NC Latin American Film Festival. Uh, for those of us that grew up in Latin America and that our first uh, language is Spanish, uh, we grew, grew up with the Festivales Cervantinos, with El Quixote Festival in many ways. Uh, when we were in, in elementary school, middle high and high school, uh, we did interact with this uh, fantastic book with the life and the entire uh, production of Miguel de Cervantes. And we used to celebrate it in many ways. We uh, used to read the book, we used to talk about it, we watched films about it, we watched comics, we did uh, uh, theater pieces uh, and uh, when we are here in the north we want to share that kind of, of of multiple ways to engage with such a, a, a book with such a story uh, why because uh, el quixote is one of the most important uh, books ever written in the history of the western civilization is one among few that had uh, somehow imprinted uh, Western culture uh, because of the story, because what it represents, because of its characters, uh, because the way it was built as a literary piece. Uh, it's not a linear A to Z kind of book, it's a book that uh, encapsulates the human experience in a very interesting way that is very much connected with the Western uh, civilization and we are part of it uh, regardless if we like it or not. Then that's why we have to bring uh, uh, El Quixote Festival to North Carolina. Why? Because we are here to stay. Uh, the demographic change in this state has been uh, just incredible. It's an adventure to be part of it. You are experiencing this change, then uh, you are welcome to be part of a festival that has to be as Quixotesco, <laughs> as uh, sometimes delusional as uh, El Quixote is. Unfortunately, in, uh, in North Carolina, uh, we are lacking uh, uh, spaces of public uh, public spaces. I mean, the, the public sphere is, is somehow uh, not really present in North Carolina, not for the Latinos and actually for many of the Anglos either, because the way we live today. El Quixote Festival can be, you know, a stop in the, in the some sort of a slow down time and space and an and, and, and event that can bring us together, uh, to stop a little bit and reflect on such a uh, book and such a story it will be ideal uh, to, to look at each other, our experiences, and to share those experiences. Then I think uh, El Quixote Festival can bring us that, you know, slow a little bit time on the space and put us in another mood, you know, in, in a mood that can be uh, uh, relevant for our own human experience today in North Carolina. Usually a festival is two, three days a week, the most. Uh, the thing is that uh, you cannot uh, celebrate one book as this book in with one event. I mean, you have to definitely uh, allow the possibility of experiencing uh, this book in many ways. Uh, a long festival allows us to do that, uh, to engage with this book and the stories of this book in many ways, right? And uh, from a performatic to music, to film, to uh, literary, uh, academic, non-academic, for all ages in many spaces. That's something that you cannot do and compress in one single uh, day, two day, three day festival, that you need time. Also, you have to build it up from, from scratch. The only way is creating a large uh, 
community, is to recognize in the community and creating a network in which you can be part of it. Uh, we want to be part of it. I want to be part of it. That's why I'm here. Uh, I'm not the festival. Uh, we are all part of it. It's a collaborative uh, uh, effort. And as a collaborative effort, uh, it needs you. Uh, uh, and then if you want to be part, uh, just call, call us, contact us uh, through the multiple platforms of communication and, and create your own part of the festival. Uh, that's the way to celebrate. We celebrate, I mean, when you turn 21, yeah, it's one day, but you, you turn 21 and that changed your life forever, right? Uh, this book is celebrating 400 years. Yeah, I hope it's going to turn, you know, it's going to change our experience here forever. Then we need time to do it. I am Quixote. Are you?